you guys it's Shandero what is up and welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you follow me on all my social media sites and in today's video we will be putting Paula Choice BHA liquid exfoliant 2% to the test with Paula Choice's BHA clear version 2% uh, salicylic acid liquid exfoli exfoliant. This is actually their anti-redness exfoliant solution. So they're both BHAs, just one is the clear and one is the skin perfecting exfoliant. So we're gonna see which one is perfect for your skin. With that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and swatch both products so we're gonna swatch the clear version first come on okay <laughs> that is what the clear version looks like what do you guys think it's literally like almost applying water to your skin but that is the clear version now let's go ahead and do the skin perfecting formula and there you have it I mean it's virtually where is it <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is the skin perfecting formula what do you guys think so here's clear and here's skin perfecting formula from Paula's Choice I mean let's try the clear again because I'm just not getting nothing <laughs> I just feel I wanted to do better I want you clear I want you okay here we go uh, <laughs> so here's clear and here is skin perfecting. What do you guys think? Honestly, I already know it's gonna dry down clear, but there you have it. <laughs> um, it smells like water. It's like virtually no sin. Like I feel like water. Like is this water? Like is it water? Paula Choice, is this water? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do the skin perfecting formula. I mean, compared to the clear, this smells like nail polish, teas, like just nail polish remover. Any type of nail polish base remover you have, this is what the skin perfecting formula smells like. I mean, just a mess. I, 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 Okay, you guys, so we're gonna start off with the clear first. Actually, what I'm gonna do is drench both cotton pads. I know y'all like, girl, what is going on? Um, but you know I gotta do what I gotta do. So I'm gonna drench both cotton pads. So here's the clear, it's really nice and drenched. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the skin perfecting formula. I, what I really wanna do is apply them at the same time. So I wanna do both cotton pads at the same time and then sweep my face just so we could get a great comparison with performance. And so yeah, you know, we gotta do it at the same time. Let me drench this a little more, this clear version. Honey, we got a lot to discuss with the clear version. So clear, cause I don't wanna get it confused and uh, skin perfecting i do want to say this both pads were drenched really nicely and the skin perfecting one is very heavy so i know i do want to say this with the skin perfecting formula you would think uh the way it smells it would be like a yellowish brownish liquid <laughs> but it's clear <laughs> it is so confusing let me get my forehead because i had a really bad hive going on and i don't know why so let me you know meet them in the middle Meet you halfway. Well, let me not sing. <laughs> this is what my face looks like on Apollo Choice Clear. Let me turn the light down. So this is the Apollo Choice Clear. And here is the skin perfecting formula. Here's my forehead. I do have a hive. I want to mention that you guys can see because I just love when I get like when my skin starts to act up. So you guys can see that I don't have normal skin all the time. <laughs> And I have to take care of my skin too, which is why I have so much skincare. But here is my chin. What do you guys think? Um, I am going to go ahead and wait 20 minutes. 
uh, because we have a lot to discuss but I'm gonna go ahead and wait 20 minutes let both dry down really nicely I will say this the clear one is drying down really nice as opposed to the skin perfecting one I don't know but if you could see there's like droplets of water like it's drying down really patchy on the skin perfecting side I also want to say this there is stinging and sensation from both of them but I will say I'm getting a little bit more from the skin perfecting formula I do want to mention that however I kind of feel like the clear one is a little bit more like cooling and airy but it's also giving me like heavy vibes if that makes sense like it feels kind of heavy on the face like I could literally feel it on my face as opposed to the skin perfecting one okay you guys so it's been 20 minutes and this is what my skin looks like let's go ahead and turn the light down and do the close-up so here is Paula Choice BHA clear version what do you guys think here is my cheek and here is my forehead for the Paula Choice clear and here is my chin. And here is the Paula Choice BHA Skin Perfecting Version. Here is my cheek. <laughs> here is my chin. And here is my forehead. Um, what do you guys think? Here is Paula Choice Clear BHA. And here is Paula Choice's Skin Perfecting. BHA. What do you guys think? Um, let me get my mirror. Um, wow. I mean, you guys can see the difference. I mean, I really don't have to say nothing because you guys can see it, but we have a lot to discuss, so let's talk about it. I do want to say this before we start. I've been using both of these products on and off, but consistently now for two months. I do want to mention that because I really did want to try the clear one, but I did get three samples, so this is my last sample to see if I wanted to buy it over the Skin Perfecting one because the Skin Perfecting one is almost gone so I just wanted to see if there was a difference there is a huge difference in my opinion first thing being the clear solution dries down nicely it almost dries down matte it doesn't give you that greasy feeling it doesn't give you that greasy film as opposed to the skin perfecting BHA with the amount I use I know some people say well it doesn't do that for me because I don't use the same amount as you nine out of ten the reason why is because you're probably using it every day every other day who knows how many times a week you're using it for me and my regular routine i'm using bha i would say about twice a month maybe once a week so when i do use a bha i tend to slather it on just so i could get the effects of it that's just what i do i'm not telling you to do that that works for my skin because i use a bha not on a regular basis in my skincare routine you guys so i just want to mention that so if you don't like that greasy sticky feeling that paula choices skin perfecting bha has i think you will really enjoy paula's clear choice it just dries down down real matte real nicely it doesn't give you that sticky feeling it's almost like a toner on your face as opposed to the skin perfecting solution which is like a toner but it's just it just has that sticky that really greasy feeling even though it's not greasy it just has that look to it and that texture to it so if that's something you're really not into you will really enjoy the Paula Choices clear solution I do have the regular strength of the Paula Choices is clear BHA I did not get the extra strength I just want to mention that just in case someone wants to know this is the regular strength I have I do want to say this Paula Choices clear BHA is really marketed to people with acne prone skin I think a lot of time people with acne prone skin or acne scars think they should be rough to their skin and use a lot of product when that's really not true in honesty you guys need way more gentle products and your skin is way more sensitive so polished choice clear solution is actually really great for people with sensitive skin so if you you are a person who've tried the skin perfecting formula it was too strong for you but you really want to try one of Paula choices BHA 
AHAs, I think you would really enjoy the clear solution. It is very gentle on the skin. It's honestly something you can really use every day. It's going to take a little bit longer to work as opposed to the skin perfecting solution, but it is very gentle on the skin. There was virtually for me when I started using this product, no stinging, no burning, no sort of irritation. It was there, but it wasn't a lot. The amount you get with the skin perfecting solution as opposed to Paula Choices Clear Solution is a total difference. It's like virtually not there. It's a very gentle product. So if you are prone to redness, rosacea, any type of hormonal acne, and your skin gets very sensitive around that time, you will really enjoy Paula Choices Clear Solution. It is a very gentle formula where the skin perfecting is almost like I told you guys in my review, very heavy duty. It's one of those products that I keep in my arsenal for when I'm having melia, really bad blackheads, when I'm looking to reduce the appearance of my pores. That is what I use the Skin Perfecting Solution for because it's just a heavy duty product, very heavy, where the clear formula is just nice, very gentle. You can use every day virtually without any problems. It's just a really great product. I also want to say this. You guys saw my hive. I actually got one two months ago. Just, it's really about stress. I don't know what it is. Something comes over me or like something happens and like, I don't know, I start getting like this, like, like, I don't know. It's just weird. Like this, like juju that goes, oh, and then like all of a sudden the hive comes. It's so weird. It's nothing like superstitious like that. It's just really weird what happens and I get a hive. What I like to do when I have hives is use cooling gel, everything that's very soothing, Sika creams, a lot of soothing stuff to help when my skin has hives because I have to still keep up with my skincare routine as well. Well, there were times when I could not use the Paula Choice Skin Perfecting BHA. It was just really harsh. I really enjoy the clear formula. It was really gentle enough to apply all over my face, including my hive, and it actually reduced a lot of the redness I had because honestly, what you guys are seeing now, it was 10 times bigger than this and it was it was looking a mess so it was really nice to incorporate the Paula Choice clear solution into my skin and it really did help with my redness overall I think they're both great products for all skin care types however if you are prone to redness if you have acne prone skin and you can't take the skin perfecting solution because it's too heavy for you I really think you would enjoy Paula Choice Clear Solution. If you've always wanted to try Paula Choice's BHA Skin Perfecting Solution, but you've seen reviews, you found out it's too heavy for you, then I think you will really enjoy Paula Choice's BHA Clear Solution. It's much gentler on the skin, may take a little bit longer time to work as opposed to the Skin Perfecting Solution, but you are going to get gray skin over time. It really is just like, you know, diet and exercise. With time, your skin will repair itself, regenerate itself. Uh, both of Paula Choice's BHAs will help in aiding that process. With that being said, you guys, let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. Have you tried the clear solution? Have you tried the skin perfecting solution? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in our next video. Bye you guys. Mwah.